Hello man, it's me Andrew Bow, and I decided to make a video for you on Manny Ramirez. Who was Manny Ramirez? Or who is he? Manny Ramirez is a Dominican American professional baseball outfielder who played in the MLB for parts of 19 seasons. And he was born in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, and spent 13 years living there. As a child, Ramirez was obsessed with baseball. Played on the in Cleveland Indians, 1993 to 2000. Ramirez made his major league debut on September 2nd, 1993 against the Minnesota Twins, going hitless in four bats at the end of the year. The following day when the Indians took on the Yankees, Ramirez went three for four with his first two home runs with many Ramirez family and friends and attendance at Yankee Stadium. His first career homer was against Melito Perez. In 1994, his first full season in the majors, Ramirez had a strong start to it to the season, hitting six home runs during the month of April, despite a weak start to May. He rebounded in the later half of the month, finishing the month with a .300 batting average. During the season, the Indians were chasing the Chicago White Sox for first place in the American League Central Division all the way until the end of the season. However, the team fell short of qualifying the playoffs and their season ended in August due to the 1994 MLB strike. Ramirez finished second in the Rookie of the Year award. 1995. Ramirez's breakout season came in 1995 when he batted .308 with 31 home runs and 107 RBIs. In July, he was selected to his first All-Star game and won his first career Silver Slugger Award following the season. That year, the Indians reached the postseason and Ramirez hit two home runs in the 1995 American League Championship Series against the Mariners, which the Indians won in six games. The Indians then took the on the Atlanta Braves in the World Series and Ramirez batted .22 with one home run in the Indians' six-game loss. Ramirez continued to hit well in 1996, batting .309 with 33 home runs and 112 RBIs. The Indians again reached the playoffs, and Ramirez batted .375 with two home runs in the Indians' loss to the Orioles in the 1996 American League Division Series. <laughs> Excuse me. In 1997, Ramirez's contact it continued to improve through his power. Though his power dipped slightly as he hit .328 with 26 home runs and 88 RBIs. This year, the Indians again reached the World Series. And Ramirez batted .154 with two home runs. The Indians lost to the Florida Marlins in seven games. In 1998, Ramirez experienced a great increase in power, batting .294 with 45 home runs and 145 RBIs. He was selected to his second All-Star game, in which he recorded a sacrifice fly. Ramirez batted .357 with two home runs during the ALDS versus the Red Sox, which the Indians won in four games. In the ALCS against the Yankees, Ramirez batted .33 with two home runs, but the Indians lost in six games. Following the season, Ramirez came in sixth place for the AL MVP. Ramirez began the hot the 1999 season on a hot streak, hitting .337 with seven home runs in the month of April. Ramirez's hot hitting continued as he batted .364 in May and reached an all-star break with 25 home runs. On September 30th, 1999, Ramirez set the Indians' single-season record for RBIs at 164, beating Hal Trotsky's 1936 record of 162. He finished the season with 165 RBIs in 1999, the highest total by any player since Jimmy Fox, 1938. That season, he was third in the voting for the American League MVP award. In 2000, Ramirez was limited 
to 118 games due to injuries, but recorded a career high 3.351 batting average, along with 38 home runs and 122 RBS. His return is believed to have started a major comeback that led the Indians to a final record of 972 and cut the number of games they were behind the leader of the AL Central Chicago White Sox from 11.5 games down to 7.5 games in just a month. Because of his return, Robbie Omar, Omar Visco, and Kenny Lofton all started getting better pitches to hit, which also significantly increased their batting averages. Despite the comeback, the Indians failed to make the postseason finishing five games behind the White Sox and the AL Central. <laughs> Excuse me. Boston Red Sox, 2001 2008. In December, Manny Ramirez agreed to an eight year. $160 million deal with the Boston Red Sox with $20 million odds for 2009-2010, pushing the total value of the contract to $200 million for 10 years. Ramirez immediately delivered for the Red Sox, hitting .408 in April 2001. His final season stats were a .306 batting average with 41 home runs and 125 RBI. On June 23rd, Ramirez hit two monstrous home runs against the Toronto Blue Jays at Fenway Park, with the second one hitting the very top of the light tower in left field. Its length was officially listed at 5,501 feet, second longest by a Red Sox player in Fenway Park's history, just short of Ted Williams' 1946 record of 502 feet. Ramirez only played in 120 games in 2002 due to a hamstring injury that put him on the disabled list from mid-May to the end of June. Despite this, Ramirez won the AL batting title, hitting .349 and his .647 slugging percentage was second in the league beyond Jim Tolman's .677. Ramirez hit his 300th career home run on August 46 against the Angels. Raymond Ortiz. It was the first of two home runs of the night for Ramirez as he went 5-for-5 five five overall. Despite a strong play in 2003-2014, the Red Sox lost to the Yankees in a seven-game showdown in the ALCS. In that series, he was the center of a bench-clearing brawl. Roger Clemens threw high and inside, and Manny charged the mound. The new Red Sox Orchard Mansion, trying to rid themselves of this massive contact, track put Ramirez on irrevocable waivers, thus making him available in 18 million or soon the remainder of his contract. However, all 29 teams passed on the opportunity to claim Ramirez. According to the New York Times in 2003, Ramirez tested positive for performance enhancing drugs. From the survey Georgia, in which MLB players were tested to see if drugs were being used. Players faced no penalties or sanction for testing positive. In 2004, Ramirez led the AL in home runs, slugging percentage, and offs. He finished second in errors, committed as a left fielder, third in RBIs, fourth in doubles, and total bases, sixth in on base percentage. 8th in walks, 10th in runs, and posted a .308 batting average. He also led the AL in salary at $22.5 million. In addition, Ramirez and David Ortiz became the first pair of AL teammates to hit 40 home runs, have 100 RBIs, and bat .300 since the A's Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig in 1931. Together, they hit back-to-back home runs six times, tying the major league season single season mark set by the Detroit Tigers, Hank Greenberg, and Rudy York. And later matched by the Chicago White Sox, Frank Thomas, and Magalo Ordonez. In the 2004 Major League Baseball All-Star Game, Ramirez... Just back. Don't mind the background noises, Manny. Do 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 do. 
All right, back to this. In the 2004 Major League Baseball All-Star Game, Ramirez hit a two-run home run off Roger Clemens in the top of the first inning, giving his teammates a 3-0 lead. On May 15th, Ramirez hit his 400th home run off of one of the old Mets of the Seattle Mariners. On July 5th, Ramirez hit his 20th career grand slam and his third of the season off Chris Young of the Texas Rangers. On June 10th, Ramirez became the first 31st player in history to hit 450 home runs. What a solo home run off Francisco Cordier of the Texas Rangers. Three weeks later, on July 1st, he collected his 200th home run. 2,000th hit. <laughs> Beginning in July, he had a 28-game hitting streak, including 12 multi-hit games. 8 home runs and 28 RBIs, but then missed 28 games from mid-August on with soreness in his right knee. On April 27, 2007, Ramirez was the first of four Red Sox batter to homer in consecutive at-bats in a game against New York Yankees, tying a league record. All of the home runs were against Chase Wright. On April 29, Ramirez began the fifth player to hit 50 career home runs against the Yankees. Ramirez finished with a 2.296 batting average, 20 home runs, 8 and 88 RBIs. I'm going to end my video here. Part 2 will be next, Manny.